So it's a five-year residency program. The bulk of the first year is devoted to a rotating internship, um, working with a number of different subspecialties um, that have a lot of interplay with what we do in ophthalmology, including things like internal medicine, uh, surgical subspecialties like plastic surgery, pediatrics, and emergency medicine. Surgery is very important in an ophthalmology residency. We introduce it in the second year. The focus of surgery is in the fourth and fifth year and there are a number of different types of surgical procedures that the residents are exposed to. The focus is on cataract surgery towards the end of their training. The research opportunities in our program are very flexible and can be tailored to your interests. Uh, for instance, um, I wanted to do a research project in Baltimore in the United States and our program has been very open for me to go and do that as part of my research project. We have a really great educational facility here in the, the Bueller Eye Center. We have state-of-the-art examination rooms, and that is basically where you're going to be spending most of your time in the resident clinic here. Uh, you have a chance to use you know, top-of-line equipment uh, in a facility that has been upgraded very recently. We've been proud to, to announce that uh, all of our residents have gone on to pass their exams on their first try and have are active in the community uh, all throughout Canada. Some are still in Manitoba and others to you know, other jurisdictions of, of their preference. The residents here never leave um, with a shortage of cases. There's so much work to be done and uh, with a small program there's always uh, room to join somebody in the OR. And we feel that the early surgical exposure that our residents receive in the program here gives them uh, a marked leg up uh, in training and really prepares them for practice when they leave. Some of our graduates have come back to teach and they bring experience from other centers and I think that's a huge benefit. A lot of one-on-one -on -one teaching, a lot of opportunities where um, instead of being lost in a crowd, you will actually be pulled out of a crowd <laughs> to uh, come and see procedures, uh, be involved. Um, there's a lot of uh, good didactic teaching as well. Um, and everybody here is quite committed to uh, the program continuing to grow, which it has over time. It's a small program, so everyone gets to know each other. Um, we all support each other and we, we work as a team here to, to help provide call coverage and enhance each other's learning. Dr. Sylvia Kogan and I are the leads for the wellness program. It is new to our residency and she and I are trying to develop programs that will help to lower stress for our residents and also prevent burnout. All of our health professions, and perhaps in particular medicine, enjoy remarkable privileges in our society. And I think part of the expectation of how we return that favor, how we respect the privilege that we've been receiving, is to really acknowledge that social accountability, our ability to influence health care in broader perspectives and to set examples uh, of professionalism and other, uh, other areas has been very important to us. I'm not from Winnipeg, but I felt like I could easily fit in when I started in the program. Um, they've always reached out and asked how I was doing and asked about my family, so I think it's a really friendly environment to grow here. I love Winnipeg. I was born and raised here. Um, I think that it, it's really sort of an understated cultural gem. Uh, we have a phenomenal local music scene here. The, the food scene is amazing. Outdoor activities that you can do here, cross-country skiing, hiking, it's all really nice and really close to the city. And you'll definitely get a chance during your residency to connect with other residents and get out and, and experience some of this. You gain experience in terms of learning how to book a clinic, um, learning how to interact with the allied health staff and the technicians, as well as the front desk staff. And uh, I, th I think it really provides an opportunity to, to gain a unique experience that you wouldn't get otherwise until you were starting practice.